I'm Dr. Emily Grossman, and this is Brit Lab's Cinema Science, the show that looks at crazy movie moments and applies some stringent science to see how they hold up. This week, we're looking at the good old exploding car. So, do the movies get it right in their prediction of when a car will burst into a fireball? Or is it an explosion of bad science? There's nothing more exciting than a car chase. Whether it's Vin Diesel driving a diesel van, or Mad Max speeding his interceptor through the desert. Add in an exploding car at the end of the chase, and it's even better. Who doesn't love those cool chase scenes, where a car spins off the road and hits a wall, careers into a tree, smashes into a bus, or, or simply drives off a cliff and promptly bursts into flames? But is it really that easy for a car to go up in a puff of smoke? For an explosion to occur, hot, flammable gas has to be produced in a confined space, building up pressure. Then there has to be a spark to ignite it and a source of oxygen to allow it to burn. Burning gas goes shooting outwards, causing a massive explosion with shrapnel flying out in all directions, accompanied by a fireball and a loud bang. So could this happen in a car? Granted, in a car's fuel tank, there's a whole load of flammable petrol in an enclosed space. But whilst petrol burns pretty well, petrol itself isn't explosive. To make it explode, it first has to be turned into a gas and then ignited. Now you might be thinking, but the car engine does this in order to power the car. Yes, you'd be right, but only a little bit at a time. The internal combustion engine of a car siphons off tiny amounts of petrol from the fuel tank, vaporizes it, mixes it with air and ignites it, producing a series of carefully controlled explosions. The energy released from these explosions drives a piston, causing a turning effect in the wheels of the car, and the cycle repeats over 1,000 times per minute, propelling the car forwards or backwards. But this all happens in the engine. And whilst the tank might be full of petrol, usually there isn't much vapor hanging around making a giant explosion extremely unlikely. The second problem is that to get any petrol or vapour in the tank to ignite, you'd have to introduce a spark, which would require punching a hole in the tank. Petrol can't spontaneously ignite until it reaches temperatures of more than 250 degrees C. So you may have seen those movies, with flames of fire dangerously licking their way along towards the petrol tank, threatening to cause an explosion at any minute, whilst our hunky hero walks away without looking back. But this just isn't realistic. Usually, there isn't enough air in the inlet to the tank, let alone the tank itself, to provide enough oxygen to keep the fire going. Also, who doesn't look back when a car explodes? Explosions are awesome. Even if a spark did somehow manage to get into the tank, and let's say that the tank was nearly empty, which might mean there was quite a bit of vapour in the air, and enough air managed to get into the tank too, the fuel tank of most cars is simply not strong enough to build up enough pressure to produce a movie-style explosion firing out shrapnel. The most that could happen is that there might be a bit of a whoosh and a little mini explosion, which would be unlikely to be strong enough to even burst the tank. Having said that, if the tank were to break open, there might be enough petrol and gas leaking out to produce a pretty big boom and a raging inferno if a spark were to ignite it. But, as there's no longer an enclosed space to build up any pressure, an explosion of the sort seen in the movies is practically impossible. In fact, the wrongly held belief that a crashed car is at any moment going to explode into flames has prevented passers-by from rescuing drivers trapped in burning cars. So, do any movies get it right? This scene from Vanilla Sky shows Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz's car zooming off a bridge, smashing headfirst into a wall, and then nothing much else. So we'll give it a cinema science thumbs up. Do you have any favourite exploding car scenes to share? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more great science from BritLab.